This is Cameron with CBM Reviews, and I'm going to give you my review of Black Panther. Black Panther was directed by Ryan Coogler. It stars Chadwick Boseman, Michael B. Jordan, Lupita Nyong'o, and Letitia Wright. It also stars Angela Bassett, Denai Guerrero. I can't pronounce that right. This movie is spectacular. From start to finish, this is a wonder to behold. And not just because the characters look amazing, even though they do, and not just because the fight scenes are good, because they are, but it's because the scenery and the location of Wakanda is itself a standout performance. In Thor, we were introduced for the first time to a setting outside of what we know. And even so, we were introduced to Asgard. We were brought back to Earth for the majority of the film. In Wonder Woman, we're introduced to Themyscira, Paradise Island, and for it's for a brief moment, and then we're brought back to Earth, the world that we know. The majority of this movie takes place in Wakanda, and it is that much more beautiful because of it. The visuals are spectacular. There's only one, possibly two shots that look a little too much uh, as far as CGI is concerned. Only, only barely distracting. Every single shot is breathtaking. The characters are awesome in this as well. Uh, Chadwick, Chadwick's Black Panther does a stunning job. Uh, he is not the breakout in this, by the way, uh, but he does a really good job at playing the role of T'Challa. Denai as Okoye, she is phenomenal. She commands every single scene that she's in. If she's in that scene, eyes are on her. Lupita Nyong'o is beautiful as ever. She does a great job. Shuri, who is T'Challa's sister, is really good in this. I hate to say that I was wanting a little bit more, but what I got was was more than what I deserved. Uh, like she is really good at what she does. She is she is the the resident techie, and even though she is in Wakanda almost the entire movie, she still brings uh, a flair of of youthfulness to the movie that, in some parts, is necessary. And so because of that, she plays a predominant role in connecting the audience to the movie. Everybody else does, does really, really good in their jobs. Andy Serkis is having way too much fun as Claw in this. Everett Ross, uh, who's played by Martin Freeman, is actually in this movie a lot more than I thought he was gonna be. They did a good job of hiding that. And it's, it's really, uh, there's not a weak performance in this. Like, if, if a performance isn't excellent, it's still, very good. There's really not a scene that's out of place. I saw maybe one scene that was a little superfluous and it lasted for all of three seconds. Like everything about this movie is is spot on. Um, the direction that is done by Ryan Coogler, it, you cannot talk about this movie without talking about the fantastic direction of it. The breathtaking scenery, the storytelling, all of it is done in marvelous fashion. The villain in this, and there are two, there's Claw and there's Killmonger. Killmonger's played by Michael B. Jordan. There's a very strong sense of dread when dealing with Killmonger. And not because he's this, uh, you know, super powered being from outer space or anything like that, but his story is very realistic. His issues are very grounded and his rationale for doing what he's doing makes him a very empathetic character like even though he's the bad guy and the characters in the movie treat him as the bad guy we as an audience can look and say he's this way for a certain reason I really don't want to go any further than that uh, in a non-spoiler review, but this movie is fantastic, and uh, I'm going to give my my number review, but I got a couple of things that I want to say beforehand. Um, I went to the theater, the earliest showing, uh, I took my wife, and one of the things 
that I found surprising was the amount of diversity in the theater. And I thought it was going to be, uh, and I'm just being real here, I thought it was going to be a lot of black people and a few white people. Um, I have talked to people who said they weren't going to go the opening weekend because they were afraid of how it was going to be. Toss those fears aside. This is a movie that everybody can get behind. Trust me when I say this is a movie that can be enjoyed by all. Also, this is absolutely beautiful. We've had black superhero movies before in the past. They do not hold a candle to this movie. It is a must watch. It, it is easy to compare it numerically or, or thematically to the other movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but there literally isn't anything on the plane. And I'm not saying that it's, you know, hands down better than the others. It's just so different in a, a, a spectacular way. So if I have to give it a numerical uh, account, I'm gonna give it, uh, I'm gonna give it a 92. It is, a, it is a must see. I will be watching this again and watch this channel later for my spoiler review. That's all that I have to say about it right now. I will dig deeper into this later on. So that's my thoughts on Black Panther. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe. Also share this video if you're as hyped about Black Panther as I was, still am to be honest. This is Cameron with CBM Reviews. We'll see you next time.